It's unprecedented. It's devastating. Flooding fears are cropping up again. That area that's flooded today is probably going to remain flooded going into next spring. There's a lot of damage that we haven't even seen yet. Yeah. Those fields have a lot of erosions and, and scour areas that are still underwater. We know they're there, we just don't know how bad they are. Precipitation that was two to 300 percent of average in the Missouri River Basin during the last year has put the Missouri River in a state of flood for the longest time ever recorded by the National Weather Service. This caused over a billion dollars in damages. Now farmers fear more flooding this winter could leave their fields encased in ice. Tom Waters is the chairman of the Missouri Levee Association and a farmer. The winter forecast has him watching one thing. The levees. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, levees all up and down the Missouri River that are breached, have holes in them, water still running through them with the high river. Not able to get in to even look at some of them to assess the damage yet. 67 levees are breached or in need of repair in our region. But the Corps of Engineers told us the flood stage is still too high to assess and fix many of those levees. We'll probably start doing some work this winter, uh, and then based on field conditions, we really need some dry, compactable soil. So if we can get a relatively dry uh, winter, it'll give those floodplain soils a chance to dry out. Uh, then we'll be able to start construction much sooner. I asked Tom the worst case scenario. Number one, they don't get all the water moved out of the reservoirs before spring. And then number two, we have another rainy pattern. And it's not just our local forecast. Winter brings ice flows and our neighbors to the north deal with those a lot. And flooding with ice in it is does a lot of damage. If we have an extended cold period and the river freezes across the northern plains, you can see so much ice that it forms a dam and we can see significant flooding. Ice can also flow into the fields. It's just like chainsaw going through a building or... The best case scenario is we get the water out of the reservoirs before spring. Right now, uh, they're on target to have all their floodwaters evacuated by mid to late December, I believe. Many farmers along the river lost their 2018 crop due to flooding. They lost their crop earlier this year due to flooding. And now the 2020 crop is in serious jeopardy. Just resiliency is key. Um, I know it's been a terribly difficult year for everyone that lives and works in the floodplain. Uh, we will be there to fix these levees.